because you're very supportive, very bright. Aww. Uh, very, you always, you always know how to cheer me up. Uh, <laughs> and you, you can always turn all, like, any bad day of mine into a good day. My name is Jess. Um, I'm 25. I'm from Australia. Um, I study psychology and neuroscience, but I think I'm a really kind person. I have a lot of patience and I care a lot about people and humanity and I do a lot of things to further that. Like I go to protests, I like take care of my friends, those sorts of things. I, I'm smart. I'm clever. I'm happy, I'm happy to say that out loud. Um, and I think I, I'm really strong. I just moved to a different continent for fun. Like, I don't know. I think I've got a, a lot of tenacity and strength that I, I like about myself. Like, I'm, I don't know if I've told you this. I moved out of, out of home at like 15. Have been taking care of myself for like 10 years, like since I was a kid. So I'm really, I'm proud of that. Very self-made, very strong in that way. <laughs> tried to hold it in um that first bit is so so insanely accurate like especially like all of it but especially that like the like barrage of just like both like positive and negative things just constantly at you about being gay whether it's like oh I went to this wedding and it was great or like gay people should all go to hell like insanely accurate like so good. <laughs> As a community, we go through so much, and to and obviously um, there aren't a lot of older people in the community to look up to because of HIV, and you know people are closeted and never felt comfortable coming out and having those love stories and knowing that it can end well and people and you know you can be happy in the end is so touching and moving in a way like it's not something we get a lot of like even in cinema and books and things all the gay couples die in the end like to be validated that you know this is despite being queer or bisexual or gay or whatever you can still find the one and be happy and you know feel these things about another person is beautiful and wonderful I'm still murdered in Australia there's a law that is still in effect today that it's called gay panic defense and it means that if some if a gay man hits on you you can murder them and that's a legal defense to murder it's insane like even in places that are supposed to be forward-thinking and left-wing and you know accepting People still die constantly. That's horrific. Okay. There's nothing wrong with you. Um, it's really easy to fall into that trap with all the things out there and all the people out there that think that being queer in any way is an inherent flaw. Um, and that's something I struggled with a lot, especially when I was younger. Thinking that, you know, those feelings and those thoughts and having crushes on girls made me wrong. In Australia, you meet a lot of people from rural areas who've been in a town of 10 people and literally never met a gay person in their life and by instinct are quite homophobic. But the second they're exposed to something that's positive and, you know, they meet or like see queer people in some way and they see it's not just, you know, something to be afraid of, 